you were very uh, emotional um, following the killing of Floyd, um, Mr. Floyd, George Floyd. Um, and, and I, you know, I think everybody that is listening right now was emotional uh, when they witnessed that video, when they witnessed that man take his last breath, when they heard him cry for his mother and, and it was just senseless. And, you, you know, I, I got hit with it. I know that you felt it. I know Drew felt it. Why isn't everyone feeling it? Something is changing, though. Um, you know, I was bumping Taylor Swift albums uh, the other day because she came up with that old fire statement. Um, and, you know, I, I saw C.J. Went, Carson Went uh, come out with the statement. Um, but I, I think that one of the things I would tell people right now is that th- there's far too much uh, people calling for peace. And there's not enough people calling for justice. I think it has to be an and conversation. Don't tell my people to get out the streets. Don't tell us to go home and just wait till November um, without talking about justice in this country. And I said something earlier, which is so true. Like we got to make justice a, a, a verb. It's an action item. It should, should no longer just be a noun. What does that mean? I mean, I want all the officers um, and not just George Floyd, but Breonna Taylor's cases arrested. And then um, I want to reform the way that we police in this country. I want to have some tangible solutions. Don't tell me to wait until November. I want people right now to start talking about how we have a national database for bad officers. So you can't get fired from one department and then go two door, two towns down and get tired again. I want to nationalize use of force standards. So we can't have chocos allowed in Louisville um, and then outlawed in New York, you know, and then I want to make sure that we, talk about and limit qualified immunity so you can't hide behind your shield when your department when you and your department are are being sued for your bad behavior and the last thing i want to do is i want to lower the standards so that we can actually bring the reason the obama administration department of justice wasn't able to bring uh these cases these federal criminal cases because the standard is insanely high and so these are things i want to talk about don't democrats and republicans both are, are pissing me off because everybody's like okay we hear you we feel you Make sure you channel that energy and go vote. We've been voting for a long time, and we're going to vote this time. But I can't wait until November because at the rate they're killing black folk now, that's going to be another six bodies at least between now and November. And so I want people to have some some intentionality and purpose, and that's why I wrote this book. And I didn't have any idea it was going to come out during the middle of a pandemic where black folk were going to be dying, and I didn't have any idea it was going to come out when – we'd be seeing these images. I mean, I guess I should have known the United Mm -hmm. States of America, but here we are. 